<laughs> Hello, Yaro. Welcome. I just woke up from a slumber. Hello, Chris. Welcome in. I may feel tired right now, but that's only because I just woke up. There is an underlying energy to me, an inner strength that goes beyond, I would say, even the physical. And Chris knows why, for sure. He knows what has transpired recently. And I know what's transpired recently, very much so. Oh, is, where's my stuff? Is it all up? Alright, let's go to the thing. Other than the 50 followers, that is part of the thing that happened. And why the victory music is happening. I won a bet. And the particular bet that I won, that Monster Hunter would be announced at the Video Game Awards show that occurred yesterday. And what did happen in the final hour? On the, on the last strike of midnight, the final trailer that comes out. What does it happen to be? It happens to be Monster Hunter. The new one. The big one. 2025. And I basically was uh, the best to ever to ever do it. I was at work. So what did you win? Well, the bet was whoever won, or whoever lost, it'll be easier to put it that way. Whoever lost the bet had to put a donation link on their channel and for me that would have been particularly devastating because I have a donation link but it's fake and I enjoy that very much it's probably my favorite thing about my channel <laughs> is that I have a fake donation link so that would have been tragic to lose that little goof on my channel but I won so I didn't have to worry about that so uh, somebody else who hates money and receiving it from people especially without returning a good or service in uh, you know in return, sorry for the redundancy, I'm tired. Uh, they now have a donation link, and it's so funny. It's okay, once you are affiliate, then you won't be able to say no. The other person here, I'm assuming, will show up <laughs> eventually. And it'll, we'll all have a grand old time, except for them. They'll probably feel pretty stupid right about now. For even thinking to step to the king. Anyway, that's why we're listening to five minutes of Final Fantasy Victory Fanfare. Extended edition, by the way. I saw this Zelda uh, 25th anniversary fully orchestrated thing. I might click on that. I'm doing it. Here we go. Oop. Leave you on my phone while I try to sleep with a congested nose about brother. I hate that. I feel that, though. I'm pretty sure I have some kind of undiagnosed sinus issue where that will just happen like all the time. I might get a guy to go to go look in there with a camera or something eventually. That might be a thing I do. But yeah, sleep well if you can. Oh yeah, this is going to be one of those videos where the audio is just... Good luck trying to balance this. The highs are too high and the lows are too low. Oh, see, now it's do it. I see you getting louder. Stop. Make up your mind. Okay. Seems good now. The swelling, the orchestral swells aren't even reaching the yellow anymore, so that should be fine. Oh, I didn't even open the... I'm such a doofus. But I'm a winner. Anything negative about my... say about myself today has to be couched within that... that fact. That I am now cool and awesome and have 50 followers. We need another viewer to get in here so that I can start inflating my numbers.
start maintaining that as averages. Now, when it says average viewers per month, could I just, like, theoretically stream once? After reaching this 50 follower milestone, and then just have that be the only stream for a month? And that would technically be my average viewer count? For that month? Is this anything? I wouldn't do that, but I'm wondering for a friend, of course. Minimum requirement of hours? Ah, they got me. Those wily coyotes. They always think of this stuff. Too clever for their own good. I don't even know what I'm do Hold on. What am I- what am I doing? What am I even doing? We're gonna play Monster Hunter music, you idiot. Stupid, here we go. Don't even... <laughs> it, well, excellent timing. Hello, loser. Hi, <laughs> Swan, how's it going? Oh my goodness. What a day that was. It feels great to be on top. On top of the world. I had to restart my phone so that my messages would show me. So you're still receiving negative energy from the universe right now? Oh, I heard your. <laughs> I heard all your dumb bragging at the start. Oh, man. Yeah, there was a whole, uh, I, I had like a, it was a whole thing when I was in the break room after that, after that call. It was great. I'm buried in salt. I can't see the sky. One second, I gotta look at this. Analytics, achievements, path to affiliate. Thank you. I can actually check that in a second. You know, after uh, that event happened, and you get affiliate, that is not my fault. That is King's fault. You can blame him specifically. He was the, the straw what broke the camel's back. And I was the deity that revived the camel, healed its wounds with a mere touch, walked across water, saved the land. Can't stop getting W's. I'm dying in L's. After uh, that whole thing happened, I'm pretty sure I worked the hardest I've ever... I said it was the closest I've ever felt to being high. I don't even know what being high is, but I have to imagine it was something like that. Because I just went on a straight, like, um... I went on, like, an, an endorphin, adrenaline rush. I was working so hard, not because I particularly even wanted to, but just because I felt like I could. If they could just, like, announce a new Monster Hunter, they don't even have to make it. They could just announce it and make a little trailer for it every week. I would be the most effective efficient employee that that company has ever seen. Stocking with fervor. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was stocking like a racehorse. I was, uh, I was great. Oh, you know what we can do? Oh, this is great. We can watch the moment in question. So that I can provide context to the live stream. Good idea, Swan. Glad you brought it up. Who are you? Out of here, Mountain Dew Gaming. Mountain Dew Gaming. What the heck? What do your metrics say? Uh, we're gonna check that right now while I'm here. Uh, well, actually, I gotta do it on a different browser because, of course, I do. Analytics, community. Is that what you said? I gotta go back here. Achievements path to. Achievements. 
Path to Affiliate. Okay. I'm still so bad. <laughs> um, I have... 50 followers. It actually says 49, but they'll catch up, I'm sure. Stream for 8 hours. I have streamed for 55.8 hours. So I think we got that one. Stream on 7 different days, 20 of them. And have an average of 3 viewers. Now that's the problem. I only have 2.5 average viewers. And you stopped having Fridays. Yeah, but you're going to play Divinity with me on Saturdays. You said that, you said it with your mouth. And your, and your actions should uphold that, or else you will be a liar. And you don't want to make yourself a liar. Don't stop making me angry. That's not my fault. A guy came in out of the ether after a year. I don't know where he is. I've never seen him. I'm not even sure he's real anymore. Anyway, we're going to go to uh, twitch.television slash swan drawn and watch a funny little, a funny, and I, I mean a funny little clip here. Play together so, <laughs> so I can yell at you. Yeah. I mean, maybe the funniest VOD that's ever happened. Recent broadcast. 18 hours ago? Is that how long ago it was? It feels like minutes have passed. It feels like we were just here. It ever takes the most time, but you'll get there, no problem. I mean, yeah, we got four right now. If I could just, like, stream for another 30 minutes, have this average be my count, then I can just stop, and we'll, we'll be good. You'll get the average, no I think the Lies of P streams will help out. As long as that game can stay a little popular, it should get a little boost after the Game Awards. They mentioned it a couple times, perhaps. I don't think they won anything, which is probably not the greatest, but, uh, you know, it tried. Uh, browser. Oh, there it is. Here it is. And you might be saying, Zotia, how could you possibly remember? This VOD is like three and a half hours long. Well, I happen to know that at three hours and 22 minutes is when the event in question occurs for no reason in particular. Are you hyped for in 2024? Oh, the chat's here. Awesome. Vote on twitch.tv slash the game awards. Let's go. The guy that taught me how to do game sound is one of the sound people on BG3. That's awesome. Final world premiere. It's not going to be Monster Hunter. It's not going to be Monster Hunter. Is it going to be GTA? You fool. No? You look at your little face. So weak, so innocent, so dumb. If it's freaking monster, I swear to God. Oh, what's this? What the heck? This is crazy. Look at that. What is that? That's a rock. That's a weird looking rock. Ooh, what is that? Okay, it's not. It's not. <laughs> that would have been so funny. It's not monster. <laughs> no. The wait. certainty. Mm, no. No. <laughs> it's not monster. We're good, guys. Don't even worry about it. Wait. No, it's no, not Moss Hunter. No, we're fine. No, Unless... Way. No. It didn't look no, like... It... It no, we're different. fine. It's too different. It's f you're right. You're right. How could it even... Why would we even think that? Oh, no. We're holding. Oh, yeah, we're holding. What? No! <laughs> Oh. What? That's crazy. Look at that. This is clearly GTA. GTA 6 would be wild for this one. What pun intended a little bit. Get this guy out of here. No way. And look at everybody celebrating my name in the chat. I can't at the very end. This is how long we had to wait. I had to go to work midstream. And I win. I won. I can't believe I have a big old Joker smile all over again. I, it extends beyond the natural bounds of my usual smile. How could they do this to me? Killed Swa with it. I didn't do anything except win. I knew the moment I saw Riozo in the in the in the freaking chair, I was like, oh, "Here's my boy! It's gonna happen." She is broken in half. I'm malting all over. Back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as for release in 2025. 2025. 
I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? Oh, this is such a good last world premiere. He, he, who is this guy? This guy looks like a real winner over there. Who's this man? For you. So and Ned. Sounds handsome. But then the, the big furry dudes that were kind of storming through, I was like, that doesn't look like Monster Hunter. And those hands are going to help the monster to extend. There's so itself, many. And the creature that he was running, I was like, mm, that kind of doesn't There's really like 50 like bears it. attacking a thousand armadillos. I don't even know how we're supposed to kill anything. And Jeff got to play the demo already. I wish I lived his life. I'm listening. Plan on revealing more information about this game. Need with hammer <laughs> with the SNS. Yeah, I might need a long sword just to kill everything. We hope you keep an eye out for I need wide arcs. Who am I kidding? Sword and shield is gonna get some crazy move. Nice. Like it's gonna turn it into a god weapon all over again. And then light bow gun is gonna be F tier, bottom hook to spit upon tier. Gonna be garbo. Zero DPS. Excellent. Thank you, Real Great to see you. All right. The worst weapon in the game. Calls open? I hate you. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? <laughs> Would my ult a great sword? Wait, 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 I hear it. For some reason I can't hear you. Uh... Happy hunting. <laughs> okay, okay. I hear you now. Stig, you think you were the resub? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it feels great to be the king. I can't believe it. I legitimately had no faith. <laughs> My I win. I, the donation link. Is there's me. no way. Oh, it's technically. <laughs> My okay, but it's wild though. Is it world two? Is <laughs> I win. <laughs> you know, just to rub it in her face. I like a hate you. In the break room right now. Yeah, yeah, you're in the break. Room. Oh yeah, that break room. <laughs> Happy hunting. Right, I do have to leave. Bye. Win. Okay. All right. Bye. I hate you. Reminisce on this. Goodbye. Shut up. <laughs> never step to the king again. I'll never live this down. <laughs> How do I leave this call? I'll, I'll end it. And then my maniacal tirade ended because Discord had a mobile <laughs> update and I didn't know how to leave the call. Oh, how do I get out of here? Oh, how the heck do I? I am the best that's ever done it. How do I get out of here? Can you can you end the call for me, please? <laughs> how come he gets to win? I don't get anything. Except for I don't Monster get Hunter anything. Uh, I am happy about it. This is. And I then I watched the um. Outcome. The next 10 minutes of Even this, probably like three or four times, just watching you put up the donation link begrudgingly. First with the PayPal, because you couldn't get the coffee up. And then you got the coffee up. And if we scroll down to uh, the About section of Swan Drawn, which should be somewhere. Do we have to go to your uh, channel? We'll do that. We can now find the fruit of my labor. The About section. And this, my friends, would be the donation link. <laughs> I know it may not seem like it, but if you do click on this, you are brought to this. <laughs> oh boy, I lost a bet. You liked your Etsy too. I lost a bet. You all better heckin' not. <laughs> Did anyone donate, like, immediately? I mean, I don't know why I'm asking. I'm, like, 100% sure that somebody did that. For sure. All right, hold on. Let me go back here. Because I'm going to donate myself. Live on stream. Let's make the... Someone did my PayPal. <laughs> Um, let's do... Do I have to use my PayPal? We could do... Do I have my wallet? Where is it? A freaking dude, good job, thank you. All I had to do was believe. It's not even that hard. We'll do PayPal. Mm -mm, never bet against the god. Never, ever step to the king again. I told you. In front of my face. What is, is this, my security code? All right, I'm not going to say it out loud. I almost started reading it out loud. 
<laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um. What's my PayPal balance? Do I have it? Actually, I think I just transferred money out of it. So we'll just do this here. Yeah, we'll just do this. Complete the purchase. Chris Lee. But then he would be missing that you supported Swan Draw. Amazing. You're welcome. Did you get an email, Swan? Did you get it? Did you look at it? <laughs> Your sick eyes ill with it. All right, more Monster Hunter music, because obviously we have to do that. Monster Hunter world music. Takes a while for my email to refresh. It'll happen, don't worry about it. Ah. And the best part is you can't even be too upset. You have to be caught in this fugue state. Because at the end of the day, we all get Monster Hunter, and it's great. Anyway, that was the first 25 minutes of the stream today. Oh. You know, I got it when I started mauling it. It was just one measly dollar. I could have done worse. Oh, you know what I should do? I should send you around... I don't know. Maybe like 60 US dollars. You might be asking, Zotan, what is that? Isn't that like the average price of a video game on PC in America? Why, yes it is. Why would I be sending you that much in particular? It's on the house. I might just do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the indecision during the, uh, the moment of truth was very funny, though. No, we're good. Oh, frick. Nah, we're fine. It ain't monster. That would have been so funny if it was monster. Unless. Oh, you know what else I did? I didn't even know what happened. I think my body was just trying to instinctually, or instinctively, I think. It was trying to instinctively celebrate. Because when I was leaving work, I bought pizza rolls. I haven't eaten pizza rolls in like 10 years. But I bought them and I ate them for breakfast. I'm just, I'm assuming because my brain was like, I need to find the most what's the nearest source the nearest capsule sources of joy and victory that I can acquire and I think it was pizza rolls and I think that's why I bought them and I did eat 25 of those actually maybe it was the victory that made me crave pizza rolls maybe victory just had I said it was the closest I felt to being high maybe victory has the effect on me of uh, weed has on stoners and I just became hungry. <laughs> There's also staircase. There's a staircase up to the break room. Here, hold on. There is a staircase up to the break room at my place of work. It's the most gamer way to celebrate. I just didn't know what else to do. And after I ended the call, I started walking down the stairs. And this is this is um. Hold on, I'll play it in a second. This is what I started doing. Pretty much, pretty much this exact thing. If we'll just go here for a minute. Everybody rip VOD, by the way. This is probably a photo, a picture-perfect representation of me after... <laughs> forget this elevator nonsense. I was taking the slow way down. Yeah, this is me for sure. Walking out of the break room to my place of employment.
And that bird was you. Getting getting thrown away. Getting driven away by me. <laughs> Oh, you know, there's still people that think this movie is like 10 out of 10 masterpiece level. Those people are always a little silly to me. Here it is. Honestly, I still can't believe a film of this caliber about the Joker was made a true cinematic masterpiece. Like, what are you talking about? It's fine. A remarkable performance by Joaquin. Look at the pain, the madness in his eyes. Yeah, we've seen all we need to see. Anyway, I'll move on now. I'm done grilling Swan for ha literally half an hour. That's how long it took to fully process the victory, even a full day later. You're never... T <laughs> True. It'll happen again. It'll come up again in the summertime when they announce more stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> this will be for the rest of our lives. Oh, man. Well, you will be 80 years old in a retirement home, and I will have died several decades ago from pizza roll overdose. And you'll just be remembering this day. So many pizza rolls. You know they put 50 of those in a bag, and I was tempted to make all 50 of them, but I, I eventually I caught myself, so I did not do that. Drink your nose, my dude. Get yourself uh, and align your schnoz. Not everyone can have as glorious of a schnoz as me. Azure time. <laughs> People tap me on the shoulder, they got a duck unexpectedly. That's what happens. Excuse me, sir. Whoa! Whoa. Careful there. Almost took you out. <laughs> I think I actually, you know what? I was thinking about I need to start uploading some some of the gameplay. I haven't even uploaded the Garo Portal videos yet. That's how bad I am at uploading the, the video game content. I thought of a good thumbnail for the lies of P1, though. He dumps them all in the air fryer and then into a mixing bowl. Air fryer's good. They have the instructions for that on there. I was thinking we could have like a nose duel and then the, the Pinocchio would just wah, and then we just and there's like a clash of the noses. There. This was my idea. And then this would be the beautiful haired Pinocchio. With his little robot hand. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I remember the part where you were, uh, Create when you I think right after you created the donation link swan where you just started dying physically The actual physical effect of having money donated to you was too much to bear that was pretty good I also enjoyed that sequence that little sequence there that scene if you will I like to picture that entire event as a movie 
myself. It was so cinematic. Everything was paced out so well. The denouement, the rising action, the climb, it was all so great. So perfectly done. I couldn't have written it better myself. <laughs> I'm holding my dog to comfort myself. <laughs> and then steak in the end there. Really rubbing salt in the wound when he came in. He was like, how could you not tell this was Monster Hunter? From like frame one, it became obvious to me. <laughs> you fool. Why would you make this bet? <laughs> That's the loudest sigh I've ever seen. That's one of those sighs that activates the growl capacity. Ugh. Hello, <laughs> weird bird. It had a nice bar, though. Usually has muted palettes. I think that's what really did you in for not realizing that it was Monster Hunter. You have to play the old Monster Hunters. This is sort of a return to form for them. This is like raw, this is like the Monster Hunter Generations type uh, art style where they just had big old colors all over the place. Monster Hunter Try, Monster Hunter Four. Big colors, very eye catching. The kind of colors that I wouldn't even have been able to appreciate before. I gotta replay Monster Hunter 4 now. Now that I have color vision corrective lenses. Too used to new Monha, yeah, they really they really westernized it. With our freaking brown and gray video games. But now they're kind of realizing that hey, we don't have to make our games look ugly for people to buy them again. It's like thank you, Capcom. Never take inspiration from the West. We don't know what we're doing. When it comes to video games, 90% of the time. Please don't listen to us. We were literally celebrating uh, video games on the Game Awards stage simply for the fact that they improved to be not as awful as they were at launch. That's how Western gaming is going. Congratulations, cyberpunk developers, for making your game not trash garbage from a fire. They won an award. Proud of them. Congratulations, Sean Murray for having the courage to even be in public without a Kevlar vest on after what you did to people those, all those years ago. And then he started doing it again. Sean, you can't do this. Dude gets on stage for like two seconds and immediately he's all like, so we're basically going to make the most ambitious game ever made. Imagine like an entire planet, continuous, no boundaries or barriers. It's probably going to be the coolest thing ever built. It's like, Sean, you've been here before and Sony's not even making you do it this time. You're just doing it now. 
Sean, Sean, you simply must not. Why is he still in charge of that company? Somebody silence him with tape. At least the audience has changed. Sean has it. No, though, Sean is exactly the same. In the words of Matthew McConaughey, which is weirdly prescient as a result of him being at the Game Awards for some reason. Uh, what did he say about high schoolers? That's the thing about these high school girls. They keep getting... I keep getting older, but they stay the same age. Yep. That's a gross... That's a gross thing from a gross movie that he says in character, obviously. But I feel like Sean embodies that mantra in the worst ways possible. The audience keeps changing and I keep lying to him. I stay lying to him, that'd be the better way to phrase it. I'm glad the celebrity guests this time actually seem to convincingly know what video games are at the Game Awards. I feel like that one time, wasn't there like Vin Diesel and some other lady? I forget. Wasn't he standing next to a lady? I forget her, who she was. But Vin Diesel and another actress whose name escapes me. They were trying to convince the audience that one of they were big fans of Tekken. But they kept pronouncing it Tekken? Like just really weird? Like in a way that you would never pronounce it if you played Tekken even once? For like five minutes in your life? Yeah, we love Tekken. It's my favorite fighting gay uh, gam. Is that what they're called? Like holding a finger up to their earpiece, is that what? Did I do that right? Is the envelope ready? But no. It seemed like the celebrity guests actually knew what video games were this time around. Which was a very, was a very good. Vin Diesel and that other actress were just doing their own little Discord VO performance. Oh yeah, also, I can't use Discord anymore. None of us can use Discord anymore. If you missed it, the Game Awards did a cringe. Well, they did a cringe at the Game Awards. They did one of those, like, Ubisoft fake demo VOs, like they did for The Division and stuff, for Discord, and it was very cringe, very bad. It wasn't even accurate to what Discord conversations sound like at all, I will say. There were not nearly enough child predators speaking to each other in a collective. That's what they should have done. If they want accuracy, I'm just saying that's all you gotta do. And then I think Finn was right. There was, uh, you know, you gotta have a few racial slurs in there because that's the Discord experience. I don't know what you're trying to hide, Discord. <laughs> it's been bought by oldies. Ooh. People like over the age of 29, maybe. At least, I would say that. <laughs> God, I only have like so much time to work on this comic because I spent so long reveling again, reliving. I'll have to swap over to Chris's commission in like 20 minutes. Sounds like a he he problem. No, I'll make it someone else's problem.
Oh, that's the Windows key. Get out of here, Windows key. And then do that. And then this. Stop pressing that button. Whatever that is, I need to stop doing it. So if I only have to stream for like eight hours, every sound you make sounds like mockery. That'll wear off. I think? Maybe not. I think that was a problem I had before. Uh, this was even a victory that I had. I'm pretty sure it was just never directly uh, aimed at you before in this way. Does she have... I gotta open up... A thang. I cast Vicious Mockery, not 20, let's go. Nobody look at the words. Nobody look at the words. I just gotta look at the lady's outfit. It looks like I just gave her a dress. Okay, cool. We have a problem with sounding condescending. Condescending actually describes me walking down the stairs after the victory. I was a condescending. I swindled you. I won that bet. Stuck it. I swipe, swap, swiped it. Sw I stole it. At the eleventh hour. You'll have the ability, you know, you only gotta wait a month before you can uh, murder me in real life, so it's fine. You'll get your returns, your comeuppance. No, I'll get my comeuppance. Comeuppance is something you get in return for doing a bad thing. Even though I would argue winning is not a bad thing. But that's just me. Hold on, I gotta hide your eyeballs for a second. One second, one second. Hop. I gotta open up some stuff. Let me... What is her clothing situation around her legs? I gotta find that. Deal with your condescension, Ira. You think it's gonna last a month? Well, you'd be right. You'd be entirely correct in that assumption. I gotta find something where I see her pants. Did I even draw that? Yet? Might have to do that on the fly here. Alright, we'll just figure it out. Actually, I think she might be shorter. Let's try... We gotta, we gotta make this, uh, we gotta proportion this out. She has a waist, presumably, and a pelvis. 
as most humans do. And then her legs, of course, she has those. As most people do. Not all of them. Where did I draw? Oh, I gotta scroll up for the head. There it is. Oh, that really threw me off moving this little layer here. She is a short lady. Put her there. At least shorter than this elven father here. Actually, we can delete his whole thing because it's confusing me at this point. Funnily enough, the Monster Hunter Wild's release date, as it stands, is probably around when my comic is going to release. No, at this rate, it feels that way. I keep drawing these panels with 11 people in them as actually a low ball for some reason. And I think there was like 15 people in that one panel. Then it's going to never come out. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, if I only have to stream for like eight hours, should I just do a, a, a month where I stream for the eight hours and just guarantee, like I have to, it's a call to action. You guys have to show up. And I have to get an average of three viewers for those eight hours. And then I'll just take, I'll, it'll be my easy month where I just take a month off of streaming. Just so I can uh, manipulate those hours as easily as I can. To get affiliate. I only, I, str I only need eight and I've streamed for 55 in the past month of days, the past month's worth. So I'm really going above and beyond the Call of Duty here. Speaking of Call of Duty, short campaign, garbage video game, Christopher Judge told me so. And I believe him. I wouldn't recommend that, I might. I don't really need to worry about viewer retention. I'm just a guy. I get a special event. Yeah, I'll make a special event where I stream for eight hours, and then that's the month. That's the rest of the month. And I have to get affiliate. We'll get my funny little JPEGs, and then you guys can get your not so funny JPEGs. JPEGs of a more lascivious nature. Seven days a month. Ah, oh, you're right. All right, we'll do a week. We'll do a, a sweeps week. And then I will get my funny little JPEGs. Seven days. No more, no less. Or I could just hard carry myself. I could just become the most charismatic man to ever live. For the next 30 so 30 or so days. And then we could just do it au naturel. But that requires like effort. And it's like, I don't know if I could do that. I can just start amassing followers. 55, 60, 100, 300, 5,000. 5, and then it just spiral. And I'm famous. And I surpass Honey Goblin. And my dream comes true. <laughs> And she's like, oh my god, another art goblin uh, PNG tuber? Would you like to do a collab? And I'll say no. And then I'll turn away. <laughs> this would never happen. And then everybody would clap. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, what does she got that I don't? A 
decent singing voice. A dope design that has mass appeal. A charming personality. Like, what is the... Pretty great art skills. Like, what do, what, what do I... What does she have aside from that that I don't got? A sophisticated and professional-looking model? <laughs> Whatever. I could get one of those made or make it if I wanted to. I just haven't yet. I can quit anytime I want. I don't even... Shut your mouth. Weir, 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 do. For the dunce cap redeem, that will be a redeem for sure. I have to think about redeems. The only reason I haven't uh, released the uh, the alt account was because at 50 followers and saved it for affiliate is specifically because I have to. Um, the whole impetus for this incentive and this whole milestone journey was because I wanted the funny little emote JPEGs. The cat ear redeem. Oh, but then I would have to actually make them not look like trash, which is kind of the whole point of them right now. Where are they? Uh, there they are. Oh, God, I can't even blink anymore. I wonder if I'll keep the bit going, even when I fully render these, that I can't blink with them on because they're like holding back my eyelids. I'll probably keep that going. You don't need to change them. Uh, but they're so bad. It's better if they look this way. I mean, that's less work for me. So that's fine. You guys could get a Zotan redeem. And I can bring him on stream more often. Did you guys see something? I thought I like... I felt weird for a second. I felt like... I left the root... What? What the heck happened? I felt like I blacked out for a second. What the heck was that? Alright, anyway. We'll just go back to me. The hydrate redeem and a peanut butter redeem. I would do a peanut butter redeem where I just eat like a spoonful of straight up peanut butter. I would do it. An unshrimp redeem. Oh, I literally was doing that. How did you know? Saw someone handsome for a split second. Who would that have been? I'm the only one here, I think. Need to talk bot stuff too? Yeah, absolutely. I need to get bot stuff. Get a bot that yells at me to save stuff. That'll be important. Oh yeah, I forgot to clip the winning thing. Did anybody clip that for me? Can I check that on Swan's page? I'm just checking to see if anybody clipped it. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to bring up any videos. I just want to see if somebody did it. I don't think so. Oh, I'll have to go back and do that then. Videos. Um, Where's the clips on this thing? Clips. Top of the past 24 hours. Nobody clipped it? I guess I was the only one that cared, <laughs> really, about it. So that's uh, that makes sense. Well, like, come on. Okay. I was actually just genuinely surprised at how supportive people were of me winning that bet. I think they really just wanted you to have a donation link, which is fine. I'll take support any way I can get. People were like, we won, Zotan. We did it. Congratulations, Zotan. Nobody was mad that I won. Quite the opposite. Everyone was jubilant. No one is on my side. Oh. I've never seen more people brought together. I think... 
I think I solved racism with that one. I think if you just got everybody in the world to watch that clip, we would all react the same way, regardless of creed or status. All of it. We really end in racism with that one. Bum bum bum. How ominous and foreboding. I can't believe the moment when you saw them fo- they highlighted Riozo's face in the crowd as well. I don't know, from that moment you should have known your fate was sealed. Riozo doesn't just leave the room for no reason. You think they're just gonna call him out there? When he has no- like, like he didn't have a game to present for an award. So there's really only one other reason he could have been there. Discord should have hired Christopher Judge for their ad, yeah. He should have. I would have listened to whatever he said. You're right, I know. I know I'm right. I never wavered in my correctness. Oh yeah, I can read to you a little transcript of what Stove said to me in Discord mentioned afterward, like, I should have known when they had all of Capcom out there. The whole squad was there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, he just said, it, he kept it simple. Swan shouldn't have made that bet. We knew. <laughs> he didn't even message me. <laughs> oh... Oh yeah, Chris sent me Monster Hunter status on Twitter. What was this again? I didn't I didn't click on it earlier. No, it's just the trailer for Wilds. Let's go. Ugh. I'm gonna unfriend so many people starting with me, I'm sure. I think it's funny, you know, the, the serendipity is overlapping all over the place. Here's, uh, somebody right under the trailer from Monster Hunter Wilds. We got, the person's name is Selene. Just like that character from Star Ocean. It's all coming together, the Matrix is intertwining, every detail is falling in on itself. From Star Smitten, Star Ocean, Selene, I think the universe is trying to align itself again. I want to pre-order right now! I can reject Selene as revenge. I wouldn't even have been there anyway. Things I can tell from the logo. Snake Wyvern's confirmed. Ooh, Dalamadur maybe? Snake flagship most likely. Yo, if they bring back Dalamadur, that'd be crazy, dude. Six circles instead of six Wyvern heads, which shows this is Monster Hunter 6 for real. He's right! They do the thing with the pointy heads, the Wyvern heads. They hide them in the logo. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm finding more. <laughs> I need to go full screen for this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see the major ones now. It's a good logo. It's a great logo. I wonder how they're, at what point it's going to become ridiculous to start numbering these, like, in a graphic design sense. Like, when you think when we get to Monster Hunter 9, they're just gonna be like, I don't even know how to represent that anymore. Like, they're already pushing it with 6 here. It looks great, but they keep going, and I don't know what they're gonna do. They have literally started resorting to Olympic rings. Oh, it's been an hour. Uh, we'll finish the panel, and then we'll move on to Chris's thing. The new commission. It'll be a wyvern made of wyvern. They're gonna have to make like a hydra for every final boss. From this point onwards. Just so they can fit all the heads on there. Oh, she's leaning. 
leaning tower of life. <laughs> she has to lean a little bit, but not that much. Actually, he's like mega tilted as well. Like me during the, the king boss fight. Is this the back tattoo commission? Yes, it is indeed. That is in fact the one. I get to flex my almost knowledge of anatomy. Make a monster hunter server group when Wilds comes out, yeah. And not invite Steve. <laughs> don't do him like that. We don't know how long it'll be until Jet Set Radio. He'll be so sad until that game comes out. At which point he will forget about anything that's ever happened to his life that was bad, I'm sure. Judging by the way he was talking about it to me after <laughs> the Game Awards. He said he nearly started crying the moment it showed up. And I was like, I believe it forget about us. Me, mostly. <laughs> Me, most of all. I still can't believe Sega did that. They destroyed the Game Awards. They just walked up on stage, you know, in the swag walk. They had sunglasses on, and they were like, here we go. Just reach over to the counter. Pulled out a bag. And dropped it on there, and they're just like, yeah, here's about five video games that we're developing. All of your favorite classics either reimagined or a new entry in the series, so just kind of like stay ready, I guess. Casually dropped it and left. I mean, so did Capcom. Capcom had a little bit more pop and circumstance. They had a trailer for it. Sega shoved all their trailers into one 30-second block, and then they're like, yep, anyway, moving on. You're impressed. Anyway, we'll be gone now. Stay hyped for Yakuza, because you know we're still doing that. Oh, it's the victory theme. How fitting. Welcome back, victory theme. Do, 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 do. Wait, hold on. Did you hear that? There's like lyrics there. Hold on. I didn't hear. Hold on. We got to go back. Like, like 10 seconds. Zotan is the winner. I heard it. Did you hear that? I heard it right in there. Let's go back again. Zotan wins, Swan loses. Yeah, it's right in there. I hear like multiple things. It just depends on how you interpret it. That's crazy. I didn't know there were lyrics in that song. Amazing. Sheer amount of elation I found from seeing Capcom presents that swiftly fell down in the cold realization that I lost the bet. You <laughs> both need- I need one! I actually don't. I'm an artist, I don't draw with my feet. Some people probably do. Their tan is so humble. <laughs> this is all deserved. Whoever lost this was going to feel this to the full extent of our, uh... ability to communicate... with each other. We would de not, not deny any avenue to brag about this for the rest of our days, so I'm just glad it was me. Because I can't imagine being on the other end. Oh my god. That'd be awful. Games have a dunce cap for being both wrong and absent during the Tokyo Showcase. Oh yeah, where's Mask? I can't help but notice he's not here. Surprisingly absent. I think he, most of all, owes me an apology. So I need to see that little clown nerd eventually.
Yeah, I learned my lesson for the uh, Tokyo Showcase, by the way. And uh, I recently learned it again, uh, trying to wake up for a stream not too long ago. I forget which one it was. But I have learned that this is literally the only alarm clock in my- the one in my office slash room that will successfully wake me up from any- so I'm literally- I'm gonna have to bring this alarm clock uh, on the trip to MAGFest. Just so I can wake up ever. He's busy rewatching the trailer over and over again. Before Swan shows up on affiliate debut day and drops so many bits. Getting food all what? I should probably do that too. Uh, I was sleeping. I ate pizza rolls, but not much else after that. Which is not a great diet. Five other people to jump on the bed. No, thank you. Storm in like ah. It's a tangent. Ew, stop. Why does it always happen to me? The thing about MAGFest is I don't have to set hours. I have to be in the marketplace since it's 24 hours. Yo, that's actually sick. I didn't know you could even do that at conventions. MAGFest just ahead of the game. So you could just leave and go to any event you want? That's actually like the smartest way to, uh, to do it. How come nobody, how come not everyone does that? Think of your artists, people. They have good security, that's the difference. You gotta hire good security. That's why not everybody's doing it. Because it costs money. Finger. Fix the finger. All right, then we got to draw the Bab, the protagonist of the story, who has been reduced to most of this chapter as to ju to just an orb. But that's just because I don't want to draw a baby's face in every panel. So this is the protagonist of our story. An orb. Oh, that's on that layer? I'm gonna not put it on this layer, actually. I'm gonna fix a new layer. The most spherical protagonist. Somebody shows you an evolutionary chart of my protagonist. Like the evolution of an art style. For They do it for manga creators all the time. How the Jojo art style evolved over time. Like if they do that for mine, it'll look very confusing. On one end, you'll see the muscly elf girl. You know, just getting, just like, just absolutely bodying someone with an uppercut. Yeah. Just absolutely wrecking shop here. And then at the other end, at the beginning of the journey, you'll see this, and it'll be like, what the heck did he do? What is that? How did this happen? Is his head too big? I think his head might be a, sl a smidgen too large. Let's fix the head. Let's merge all this line art. Okay. 
Actually, should I just shrink all of it? Maybe, maybe all of it, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your head the right size, my dude. Maybe a little too small now. We gotta find a nice middle ground. That looks about right. There we go. Alright, let's move on to Chris. Not of the Redfield variety, but equally muscular, I would say. Let's go back to what he wanted. Alright. Talk about the tattoo piece. Full body piece from the back, mainly to show off the tattoo. In the style of these. This'll be interesting. File new. Uh, let's do 3,000 pixel width by, I don't know, 4,500? How does that look? That might be good. We can always adjust later. How could you send me to jail when there was a new monster hunter game coming out anyway? See, we can all be winners. What do you mean send you to jail? Send you to jail? What happened? What's up, proof? Welcome here. If you went to jail, I assure you, I was not the one who did it. You was framed. Alright, so we gotta post the imagery. Here's that. In the style of the Yakuza's. And then we need this guy here. Dragon's Dogma 2 is the superior Capcom RPG. Going to jail! Proof, if it makes you feel any better, you do have the most bands on the channel now, which I think is like four. He was here for so short a time, he can come back. My sentences are not very harsh. He's already unbanned. He's just not typing anything again. I have to set a precedent. You will never win this debate. Mainly because I also love Dragon's Dogma, so it's like not even much of a much of a thing. You're just putting this upon yourself. I love the game. You don't have to throw yourself to the wolves. You don't have to. And I love Monster Hunter Wild's train. Think about mods too? No, I don't. Not for 50 followers. I think I can operate pretty alright for a while.
All right, Zotan, are you sure you want to freeform this muscle? Are you sure you don't want to look up one anatomy diagram for reference? No, I'm just going to freeball it. Are you sure you don't want to look up one anatomy diagram, Zotan? No, I'm just going to keep going until it looks wrong and weird. Zotan, are you sure you don't want... No, I got... No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to keep doing it. It's going to be great. It's going to look fine. I know what muscles is. Don't even worry about it. Okay, but I really think it... No, 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 no. Just watch me go. More time into Kenshi because I'm not addicted. Is there another thing you're addicted to? You got to work on your video game addiction problem, my friend. I feel like it's every game you bring up is something you say, I have sunk too many hours into this. I'm going to look up those shoulder blade muscles again. They always get me. I have to figure that out. Live dangerously in mod free? I mean, you do. And you have like several times more followers than I have. By a large margin. Probably gonna mob whenever I feel like I need one. You guys are a good group? Yeah, pretty much. I think we're kind of awesome in that regard. You could just say it. Mainly draw, you don't have to worry as much, but gaming makes it much harder. Yeah. Jesse Cox doesn't have mods either. What the heck? That guy's like famous, though. That guy's like internet famous. What is he doing? Jesse, no. <laughs> Hard to do commands when you're gaming? True. I didn't think about it that way either. Let's move the arm. Tiltify. Bandits attack my roaming band of samurai and get fresh limbs to feed my bone dog. Now that is a sentence. Also, you don't have trans in your tags or LGBTQIA. Do I have to? Is that a thing that people normally do? Is that like an expectation? Genuinely asking, by the way. I didn't even know that was in the tags. Here, let me check. What are my tags currently? Probably just art stuff, right? Yeah, web tunes and stuff. You don't have to, but those... Uh, <laughs> those of us who do have more hate... Oh, I see. You know what? I'll put them in. Screw the haters. LGBTQ. We'll put that in. Get him absolutely demolished. Actually, if I put in trans, I feel like people will think that I'm referring to myself, so I won't put that one in there. Maybe I should... Does, do people interpret tags as your stream or just what you advocate for? I don't know the protocol for tags. I'll put it in anyway. Or do I, like, I don't know if people will think I'm being disrespectful if I'm not a trans. Is this, is this for me? Or is this just for other people in general? You wouldn't want, uh, you would want trans ally. Let's, that's a good call. Thank you.
There we go. We'll do a little underscore there since they don't let me do spaces here. Hey, what the heck? They got rid of my thing. Put that in there. There we go. Do not include special characters. Ugh. Twitch, you make it so hard to do things. As most who show up uh, would assume. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'll do the... Um, I'll do the same for the LGBTQIA thing. Yeah, I know. It's got to be one word. No special characters. I'm learning that now. I gotta do lowercase for this. LGBTQ. Maybe, maybe I'll do. No, I can't do special characters. This is so annoying. I A L L Y. This was like. This is like a word puzzle. How do I figure this out? Here's what I'm working with right here. This is what I'm working with. And it's like, does that look right to you? Okay, yeah, yeah. If that's what if that's how you're doing it, then I'll do it. it what the heck? It deleted my thing. Alright, now it's all good. LGBTQ I ally, trans ally. Alright, we're good. Update. Alright, time to wait for the freaking, I guess the the Wendigoons of the world. No, I'm just joking. I don't even know if those allegations are true. So I'm just gonna... It's just a legal reason. That's a joke, by the way. My gender and pansexual eyes. what that man do? I don't know. Some people were just calling him uh, alt-right for some reason. I don't know if it's real or not. They might just be upset that he's a Christian content creator. I don't know. I didn't look into it. Frankly, I don't watch the guy, so I didn't really have much interest in learning about if he was a neo-Nazi or not. It does not really affect me, particularly. And there's not much I can do. Even if he is. Other than, like, report videos, I guess. But that's not even, like, like what does that do? You see, you can't... Unless he does it in his videos, then I can't really do much. Because he's a Christian and likes guns? I don't know. Maybe. He might be facing the rare Christian persecution, which does not happen in that direction very often, but it might it might be a thing that's happening to him. Again, have no idea. Have not looked into it. It was about how he's not alright, he's just a Christian. So people are just mad because he's a Christian. Okay. I see. Just let the man believe in Jesus. It ain't hurting no one. He's not crusading. That they used to do that. One of the most improved in terms of some of its religious followers. Some of them. Not all of them. Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> Emphasis on some. We can never say anything in its entirety here. Because the world is broken. <laughs> Let's flip and see where we are at. Oh, that's why we flip, because this looks like trash. All right, fix that. Skew it. I always draw people leaning. How did I ever do traditional art with all these mean leans going on? Let's, um... Oh, we're getting, like, all of the short little jingles now. This is throwing off my brain something fierce. Hmm. 
I feel like we gotta adjust this arm again. Angle it outwards a bit. And then angle this lower half inward a bit. Shrink them on down just so I can get this form figured out. shrink this down a lot just to get this tall man here. If there's one thing I know how to draw, it's these little folds at the bottom of the pants here. I've drawn those many times. Make a post office run. I'll catch you later, Sticky Man. Later, Swan. And also, since I feel like you do need it, so I am sorry <laughs> that I am a winner. Thanks for stopping in. Mm -mm -mm. That almost felt genuine. I'll be sure to stop into the Star Ocean stream for five minutes. Probably to return back to gloating. another hour. Nice. Music is making my cozy game sound much more dynamic. Yeah, that's Monster Hunter for you. Stop it during the five minutes that I reject Selene. Oh, man. Oh. Bye-bye. I guess I deserve that one. for being too awesome. I don't know why I'm drawing the ankle. He's going to be wearing shoes. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not draw I'm not giving away the dogs for free. Don't worry, Chris. Yeah, how's your cozy game right about now, actually? Is it going, like, the most intense thing you've ever heard in your life? I gotta go back to how I drew this before. One second. It looked better when I was doing it like this. There. Gotta return back to this stance here. 
I think. Nick in the bathhouse, <laughs> very on edge. Somebody could be in there. With a gun. They could be going for there's somebody about. You gotta fight them off. It's gonna become a Yakuza game. I'm sure there's bathhouse brawl. Bathhouse? Bathhouse brawls in Yakuza games. These spirits be packing heat. They're coming. They're not getting no proton pack anymore. They are done. How long this song is. This is a long boy. Oh, what a good song. I forgot about this part just dropping on me. Let's get the Chris hair here. I do like his character's hairstyle here. It's spiky, but in a way that doesn't look dumb, like uh, how my spiky hair looked when I was in the third grade. That was very stupid. I'm glad I only made that decision one, maybe a couple times. And never again. <laughs> This might be too large. Shrink it all down. Or at least move it.
Maybe define his posterior a little bit? Ayo. No, not too much. It's not that kind of commission. I don't take those yet. Although, I don't specifically advertise them, but I wouldn't turn them down. That's all I'll say. On my list of do's and don'ts, the only one that I'm pretty sure I would hard turn down is Mecha, because who wants Mecha art? From me specifically, not gonna happen. In fact, when we get to Affiliate and you guys see the alt account, I think that might be on the table for some people. They might be like, oh, mm, is this what you're capable of? I see. I'm definitely not going to link it to my main account, though, on account of other things. Like my dad following my main account on Twitter. You know, it's fine, whatever. I'm still not upset. <laughs> Alright, let's make this arm a little bit. It's gotta go down to like mid thigh, right? Like that's the human average landmark for arm length. So let's extend that a bit. There we go. Maybe move it in a bit. Seems like it's a little too far out. Maybe it's not. Surprising to me how much of this soundtrack sounds like uh, the Wild Frost soundtrack. Might have been some inspiration there. I still gotta play Wild Frost. I love that soundtrack. And I watch the gameplay and it looks fun. It's a roguelite so that you know it's my jam. I just haven't played it yet. I don't know what the next game after Lies of P is gonna be. Maybe Sekiro, because I did say that was the only Souls-like I had not beaten all the way through. It's not a Souls-like, it's literally made by FromSoft, it's, it's actual Souls content. Alright, hold on, we're gonna do it. Ooh, this is a great image, actually. Oh, this is a sculpture. Never mind. You gotta do real photo records. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's back, so we could just copy-paste that, I think. There he is. This is an art study somebody did of a photo, I'm assuming, but it will still be useful to me. Like, for example, I can already correct some of the anatomical errors here. This is more of a diamond shape. And I had it 
depicted as. I have a passing knowledge of anatomy and how to depict it, not like a photographic one. That's why we're here using reference. And the lats are way more defined and pronounced over here. Right, and then this loops around these mu it's all coming back to me. I did those studies months ago. Here they are, coming into play. And then you got this weird little trifecta of muscles going on here. And near the shoulder blade. There, that looks more accurate already. Look at that. All you gotta do is actually look at the thing you're trying to draw. Who'd have thought? How do these shoulders overlap? How do the delts connect? I need another reference for that. Oh my god, the pictures I am seeing right now, they need to calm down. I just looked up back anatomy. Why am I getting the most suggestive poses known to man? Alright, it looks like the delts just kind of overlap and connect into the trapezius muscles, kind of like in here, so that's fine with me. And most of this is going to be obfus obscured, not obfuscated. I like to use that word a little too loosely these days. Obscured by the tattoo anyway, but I do think it's important. All right, now we can boost this here. And he said, please tell me you're not going to leave that poor man with a flat. I could fix it if you really want me to. He's not really, like, tilted in such a way that allows me to... Uh, De depict it like I would have to do values but don't worry it would not be for nothing he's got the like I know where the glute muscles go but it's just like how do I draw them at this angle this is the best I can probably muster let me know if it's an improvement to you <laughs> He would be posing like that. Yeah, it's like a little bit of contraposto here. We could do like this. And like angle the hip this way. Which is what we should be doing, because that's how people stand naturally. A little bit askew. Nobody stands perfectly symmetrically. That was... <laughs> I don't know what you want. 
Look at Arnold. He's got a he's got a curvature there. So this is like the best I can do for the curvature. This is about the same angle that they're standing at. If I was doing a profile shot, you you know I'd be giving him like he'd give it like the suggestive finger and he'd be like, oh, is that me? Like if it was at this angle, it'd be fine. Then I would I would do all it'd be this is that would be this would be accurate how the thing would be depicted. Have no fear. <laughs> like he's a uh, like he's one of those characters on one of those old sunscreen bottles. before he had old man. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have remedied it at least a little bit. Let's make his neck wider even, I think. are freaking askew, but they have to be fixed. Oh, I'll fix it. Fix it, it'll be fine. Gotta buff up this part of the arm, I think. Alright, there we go. Fix this. Make that more angular. That's a stylistic choice, not based in reality. Nobody has angular uh, butt cheeks. Actually, I can I can never say anything these days because somebody out there might have had a procedure to get an angular butt. I don't know. I'm sure it's happened. I'm not going to look it up because, frankly, I don't know if I need to see that. You can never say anything as a as a absolute truth. Because somebody out there might have done that. There's that guy who got like tattoos all over his body such that his skin is now completely covered in ink. There's that guy that got his tongue slit and he got a bunch of other procedures to look more like a lizard man. There's tons of people. Maybe somebody got an angular butt procedure. I have no idea. Got the old Lara Croft N64 procedure. Was it the- no, it was the PS1. Fake video gamer. Fake video gamer, everybody. He didn't know Tomb Raider was on the PS1. For half a second. I haven't saved this whole time? I'm a moron, and I'm dumb, and I'm stupid, and I'm an idiot, and also I'm- I'm not smart, I think. That's why I need the bot as soon as possible. <laughs> Alright, it's saved. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, saved it, quite literally. Before it somehow vanished into the ether. You can have a bot without affiliate, right? I know, but I've just been too lazy to do it. I might need to... Put that. I might need to up that on the old priority list.
What do the shoes on this Yakuza character look like? I'm assuming they just got a nice pair of dress shoes, like most Yakuza lads. So that's what I was using as the impetus for this little shoe design. But I could be wrong. I don't know what uh, this particular lad, where the one that he's based his uh, most recent model off of, Ichiban, remembered the name. Alright, now we can start drawing the tattoo. I need the description of this. Um, this boy standing over a freshly killed badger in the style of a Yakuza watercolor tattoo. Well, it just looked like that. It's just a tattoo, but it has the watercolor, the ink wash aesthetic as most tattoos do. In this particular style. Alright, let's look up a badger, I guess, because <laughs> I forget what they even are, I think. Oh, they look so cute, though. Why do I gotta draw a freshly murdered one of these boys? Look at him. It's okay, I'll make him look all savaged up. For the tattoo. Looking up an English badger or an American one? I just look up badger. That's the English one. Which one do you think he was talking about specifically? I could ask him, and then I could clarify. For the badger, do you prefer the American one or the English one? Or does it not matter? <laughs> American one or the English one, or does it not matter? There we go. Okay, we'll do that. That's a scent there. Badger. American one. He should be asleep. Yeah, I'll just use it. It's for the future. I can sketch in a badger and then just change it accordingly. Okay, this is the American one. Ew, they look a little bit more gremlinoid, so yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a good picture. It's a YouTube thumbnail, but it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good image. It looks like a miniature bear. Look at him. The American Badger. Oh, but in this picture, they still look adorable. I would pet this one so fast if I was a... an early Homo sapien. Without knowing what, like, the proper berries were to eat and what animals would kill me or not on sight. I would definitely go over to this guy. They look so unassuming. I mean, he's got a little bit of a claw thing going on there. But other than that, I would just freaking... I would try to hug this for sure until it did this at me. Then i probably go... I would learn my lesson. English badgers are cute and kind. American badgers want to rip your throat out. All right. So we'll decidedly, uh, unless Chris says otherwise, skew towards the American one. Um, Where did I put this? Here we are. We'll just hide him for now. And we got the dog. Where's the dog? Dog. There you are. You go over here as well. And the tattoos. We can just kind of cover up the head for now. We're not drawing a tattoo on the head now, are we? 
Okay, got my references all in place here. Actually, they kind of go up a little bit to the traps. So we'll move this up a bit more. The dog. I don't know the name. What's the emote? That doesn't say his name is Max. Thank you. He never said it at me. Oh, he did say it at me. Never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. One paw on the corpse posing majestically. Alright. Let's turn this down, the opacity, and then we'll start sketching. We'll have to sketch out a few tattoo designs, I'm sure. Before we settle upon one. It's weird because you gotta, the Yakuza tattoos, they're always so flowing. Like here, let's break down some lines of action. I think this will help me. In red, which is a color I can see properly now. So this one's pretty straightforward. You just gotta face the lines, the eyebrows, the horns are kind of all pointing inwards here. The fangs and this is all pointing inwards. So this is very compositionally towards the center of the face. Even these little line, these wrinkles at the bottom here, these lines on the outside. It's all leading in on this one, so that's an intro that's a way you could do it. But that's more for like a face. This one, this dragon one. I can't really see this properly, but this one's better. This one's all over the place. So let's make it even brighter. And then the arm is off to the side here. Fingers spreading out. And there's an orb focal point here. Interesting. I'm trying to get down the basic shapes here. It's got these compositional elements leading up towards the dragon's face. They really are just kind of taking up the whole back. So that's like, that's probably something we'll have to adapt into that. Even with like some negative space shapes, we could throw that in, like with this one over here. Here. And with that in mind, let's try again. This is probably going to be the hardest part. I've never designed tattoos, but we'll figure it out.
I think this is already a better design that we have here. What do their tails look like? These badgers here. What does your behind look like? They really don't have much of one. They got a little tuft over there, but not much else going on. Copy image. Dun 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 dun. There we go. Surrounded on all sides by badgers. I'm going to copy paste this so we can save that as a save state before I mess this up. Or try some other things. What do animals look like in full back tattoos? Animal Yakuza tattoo. I just want to see how they depict eyes commonly. I think they're just like usually just big round piercing eyeballs. Yeah, like with the tigers. Yeah, that's what they do. And the dragons and even with the fish, every Yakuza tattoo just has a big old eyeball on it. If anything has an eyeball, it's just basically a sphere barely contained by the eyelids. It could fall out at any second. I 
All right, so we'll do that. They're very piercing, these... Uh... These eyeballs here. Let's go back to the tiger one, because I think that one's pretty good. That kind of looks pretty sick, I would say so myself. Not to toot my own horn, but I think it's coming along pretty good. I need to adjust this um, Badger's Claws a bit more, but I think this is a decent start for refinement. And some blood dripping from his mouth. Maybe this could be the bloat. Here, I'll leave a note for myself. Bloat. In the style of that, like, a uh, Japanese smoke style. Or, that, like, they do it in the, um... Looks like this a lot of the time. In some of those, um... Those old ink on paper tapestries. We'll do it like that. Parentheses like smoke. But it'll be blood instead. I think that could be cool. We'll do that. And I think... Uh, after I block in some flats, I will send this off to refinement. But in terms of stuff I can do on stream, this is probably where I'm going to call it, because this is where most of the work has been done. So yeah, let's just do that. Oh, I didn't even update my tags yet. Update those, you fool. All right, close it. 
Oh, I did. The window just didn't close. Why doesn't the window close? I'm gaslighting myself. All right. Ending screen. Thank you all for stopping by. Tomorrow is... Saturday. So I will be streaming Lies of Pinocchio at the usual time of stream. We got 50 boys. Now all we gotta do is get that average viewer count maintained. And then we will finally have the incentive that people have long awaited. You dang sickos. No, it's true. It's my fault. I brought it up on purpose because I wanted emotes and it was the only thing I could think of to get like 10 additional followers. So yeah. Looks good so far. Thank you. See ya. Thank you, Gary. Always appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you later. Bye bye I totally won the bet, by the way. Probably like the easiest win of my life later. <laughs>